Taoiseach, can I just comment on what I would see as the sort of stunning lack of self-reflection and self-criticism, uh, both from Donald Tusk and, for that matter, uh, from yourself? I mean, uh, Donald Tusk said uh, in his speech here, people are turning against what they perceive as an irrational openness. They see the world around them getting more chaotic, uncontrolled migration and uh, terrorism. Uh, now, first of all, I have to say, I think these are, these are very unfortunate concessions to the scaremongering of the far right who are trying to whip up fear uh, and racism against immigrants coming into this uh, country. So I don't think they're very helpful words from Donald Tusk. But they also show <clears throat> a complete lack of sort of self-criticism in asking, what has been Europe's role in creating that sense of disillusionment? Uh, that is widespread uh, across uh, Europe. Uh, in your own case, uh, and I note that Donald Tusk just declined not to comment on Apple, but isn't it the fact that the economic inequality across Europe, which is very, very substantially uh, a result of the fact that giant corporations evade tax, don't want to pay tax, the banks get it all their own way and people take it in the neck. Uh, isn't that why you have such widespread alienation and isn't that the seedbed for a lot of the racist sentiment that then is wrongly directed uh, at immigrants? But critically, I want to ask you, Taoiseach, uh, and I noted the conversation with uh, Deputy Martin earlier on about Aleppo and so on and the criticisms absolutely justified criticisms of Russia's disgusting actions in Aleppo and its uh, bombing and so on. <clears throat> and that criticism is right and proper. But what is absolutely missing when they're talking about the Syrian crisis, the migration crisis, and indeed from your comments or from Deputy Martin's comments or from anybody in the European Union, is any sense of Europe's and the West's own culpability in the very same kind of uh, cynical military intervention and intervention in, in Syria and indeed in the wider region. Where is the criticism of Britain bombing Syria 43 times in the last six months? Where is the criticism? None. Where is the criticism? Where is the criticism? Where is the criticism of US, French and British arms sales to the Saudi regime that has killed 10,000 people in Yemen? Where is the criticism? Right? And if there isn't consistency in our humanitarian standards and in our opposition to bombing and in our opposition to war, then we have no standards. And everybody knows that it is opportunistic and cynical. Uh, so, has two minutes to respond, and then that I would ask you, Minister, isn't the disaster in Syria and what's happening in Yemen and so on, isn't it an opportunity for Europe, for your Deputy, government, Deputy. for that matter for Deputy Martin, to, to start to having Deputy. a bit of consistency if you, if uh, in its human rights standards? Tisha, you've got less than two minutes, and that concludes Tisha's questions. Tisha. Well, the, the discussion that we had uh, with President Tusk was about European issues. I've uh, referred to what, uh, Deputy, in Deputy Martin's question, the issue of Aleppo and the disgraceful uh, um, actions uh, that have killed so many people, men, women and children there. Um, in the Apple case, the government decided to appeal this because of our belief in the integrity of the way the revenue commissioners have interpreted Irish law do not do sweetheart deals, uh, no behind the, the fence deals with any companies, straight up across every sector. And we appeal this to the European judicial system for clarity uh, on the opinion of the Commission, which we believe is wrong. Apple, as the company involved, on the other hand, have also appealed their case. Uh, the, the question of um, European intervention in uh, Syria uh, and earlier in Libya is one that is discussed normally at uh, European Council meetings, Deputy, and High Representative Mogherini reports at length and in detail about those matters. Um, clearly, as I said, we are not having a European army. Um, we support within the 
constraints upon us and within the, the regulations, um, the uh, European Common Defence Strategy and contribute to that within that remit. Um, but um, obviously, obviously, uh, America, the United States have broken off their conversations with Russia because of the bombing of the humanitarian convoy and the indiscriminate and deliberate obliteration of the remainder of Aleppo.